Okay, Episode 1, wie versprach. Und du wollte ich äh, das Video weisen, den ich für ein paar dich abgeholt habe. Und zwar als Start äh, auf einer Platz, die Shimo Kitazawa heißt. Und äh, Shimo Kitazawa ist ganz nah äh, zu Shibuya. Das ist eine Station oder zwei äh, weite Wäsche. Und das ist ich da, wo ich am Moment liebe. Ich liebe an, einer, äh, an äh, einem Award, den sich Meguro nennt. An äh, mehr präzise äh, auf einem äh, internationalen Campus von der Universität von Tokio. Ich werde auch ein bisschen wert schwätzen, äh, weil, äh, wenn ich überlege, wie die Universität Tokio äh, ob die ganze Sache reagiert wird, da äh, kann ich so, und egal wie gut oder schlecht in es findet, was letzte Woche gemacht wird, das wird ehrlich gesagt high of life, da das, da das einfach alles magisch. Ähm, magisch denken ist sowieso etwas, was den äh, immer immer mit Dach braucht, man schaut des Dachs. Wir kommen gucken jetzt mal die Video und ähm, da habe ich den gesagt, dass äh, das ist ich, ja, du sie leid. Also, das ist nicht zu vergleichen äh, mit, äh, mit Europa oder Lützeburg. Ähm, das ist alles, alles wie normal, äh, mehr oder weniger. Da bin ich gefragt, ob die Leute mehr Masken oder Männer schwer zu sein. Vielleicht mehr, vielleicht Männer, nicht sicher. Ähm, ein bisschen der Fall war, wir ähm, hatten auch ein Toilette pro Bayer. Äh, äh, Problem, mir das war, weil irgendwo, irgendein ähm, oder irgendein am Internet äh, gesagt wird, dass durch die Krise äh, vom Coronavirus äh, kein Toilette pro Bayer mehr gemacht kann gehen, weil die die Toilette pro Bayer hier stellen, die stellen noch Masken hier, an sich lo, ob Masken konzentrieren, du durch es keinen Sinn, dass, äh, dass es kein Toilette pro Bayer mehr wird gehen. Du hast dann nicht für eine Toilette pro Bayer eine Maske gekauft, wie gäckig. Ein ähm, bisschen ähnlich wie in, in Europa. Also. Ähm, weil den Heirolo gut gesagt hat, dass es, dass es ein, das ist einfach ein riesengroßer Mix von äh, jungen und alt. Und hei, ah, ah, tja, ah, die japanische Respekt. Ähm, ohne Probleme mal da durchgeführt. Das ist legal, was du geschieht, das ist aber alles normal. Also. Mit Auto und äh, Matzen am, äh, an der Straße kämpfen. Äh, Wie zu Lützebursch. Äh? Also, da äh, hat Lützebursch und Japan ganz viel gemeinsam. Ähm, nicht nur mit dem Wohlstand und dem Reichtum. Auch extrem, äh, ein extrem reiches Land, zumal zu Tokio. Ähm, das ist etwas anderes. Alles, was ich erzähle, das sind meine Erfahrungen zu Tokio. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie du im Land bist. Im Land ist es wahrscheinlich ein bisschen anders. Die paar Bekannten, die ich im Land tun, die so, oh, hier ist alles nach normal. Wir haben nach Toilette vorbei. Ja. Äh, mit Leuten sind ein bisschen nervös. Ähm, ja, da ist ein, äh, ein, da ist ein Platz, just für und, äh, für und der Haupt ähm, äh, Zug, Metro, äh, Stall, also äh, Station. Ähm, was ich hier gemacht habe, ist, ich, ich wollte aus euch die öffentlichen äh, Firmenplätzen äh, weisen. Da das hier ein bisschen so aus, dass hier die Wien sollen, wollen nicht äh, am öffentlichen Firmen und dafür wird ihnen dann so, so schreckliche Plätzen äh, wie die da zum Schluss, äh, wo ihnen dann an einer Küche kommen. Und äh, die sind noch nach immer gut besicht und äh, gut voll. Ähm, und da gibt es halt so ein, äh, so ein, sagen wir so ein, ein japanischer Stereotyp, dass äh, hier jeder Verein alle Regeln, die nicht mehr gut äh, befolgt, mit der das effektiv äh, just äh, ein Stereotyp. Äh, hier gibt es Regeln gebracht wie überall auch. Ähm, ich habe für einen engen Woche Velo geklaut. Seht ihr nicht mehr. Oh ja, Pan gibt nicht geklaut, aber Velo klauen so high. Mehr, das war mein Fehler, ich hatte nicht gestreckt. Das ist eben so. Ähm, und ich gebe so ein, ich mache nur mal auf Englisch weiter, weil das mir wesentlich besser leid, weil das mir Spaß macht. 
thus this be the English part of it all and I'll just replay the the same video you just saw uh, during the, the the Luxembourgish segment um, so th this is a stroll through uh, Shimo Kitazawa. Shimo Kitazawa is a place that is uh, fairly close to um, to Shibuya. It's uh, in the Meguroku ward, uh, which is basically where I live. I live um, on the campus of uh, University of Tokyo uh, in uh, in Komaba, and um, yeah, basically the, the response of the University of Tokyo is is just magical. Um, so I'll I'll talk about that. Uh, in, a, in a later episode because it's it's like yeah a little appalling um, by the looks of it some people ask me is like more or less mask wearing uh, honestly nah, not sure uh, everyone wears masks here and that's maybe one of the reasons why the the virus hasn't really caught on that massively because like by default if you have a little cuff if you feel a little un unwell, you will wear a mask. But bear in mind, all of those masks, they are, they are just like the, the, the normal surgical masks that, that are far from an N94 or an N95 or a PPE2 or whatever uh, mask. They're just like the crappy ones. Um, like it, there are air holes and you will get infected. Also, side note, this uh, beautiful car. Hmm. Yeah, that's the... Uh, the stereotypical Japanese respect they uh, they show you. Quite a few similarities to uh, to Luxembourg there. Um, now th this coming up is the Shimokitazawa station, and again you see like uh, f for me everything is like business as usual. If you would ask me, do you feel any different here and six months ago? Nah, eh, uh, maybe a little less people, maybe, uh, but for the rest everything feels just so normal. Again, as a disclaimer, um, I can only talk for Tokyo, the city. I have no clue how it is outside. I have no clue um, e even like 50 kilometers outside of, of, of the city center. So uh, that's like, yeah, this is what I feel, what I see, what I get. Friends on the outside, uh, out on the outskirts rather, they say, yeah, everything is more or less normal still. Um, as well, so don't know. And here I wanted to take a, a shot of the uh, ever so popular smoking spots. Um, and it's basically, yeah, you're allowed to smoke outside, but it's not really like. You know, like you want to kind of hide in one of these boxes, uh, basically, uh, which is what what most people do. Um, that is one of the rules they they really do respect. the The Japanese stereotype being, of course, that they are uh, avid rule fo followers, which some are. Nevertheless, someone nicked my uh, my bike uh, last week. I didn't attach it, so that's that's my bad. I hope I hope they treat my my little bike well. Um, anyway, so now getting a little bit more into into what is surreal for me living here is that most most things happening now back in Europe where I follow the news and I'll I'll ignore the US for the moment because they are just like that that's another stage of magical thinking like everyone is on lockdown everyone is everyone is like generally. Uh, genuinely concerned and I, I think it, it is a time it is a time for concern for sure um, but over here in, in Japan and particularly in Tokyo because that's what I know best there are not a lot of concerns if if, if I'm honest um, most people still go out um, I still go out I have been not social distancing in in the classical sense like I, I go out i do shopping i i just live my life i even go to the gym um which please don't tell anyone in the expat community because they will not be happy and that is actually one thing i noticed the expatriates may it be here in tokyo may it be in luxembourg they are on edge but really like okay hostile on edge 
because all of a sudden, like, as soon as you like, oh, you went to the gym. Ooh, you inconsiderate bastard. You have just killed my grandmother. And it's like, come on, hold on a minute. Yeah, it might be not really the right and the, the right thing to do, but you know zero context. You don't know which gym I go to, what gym, w what that actually means, what the gym has put in place to protect its people. Um, so it's it's a lot of on the snap judgment on like on all the fronts um, or like trivial questions some people have. It's like, yeah, do do I, when does the virus die? Does it die from heat? Can I go into the sauna? Can I, uh, I don't know, like what, like some trivial questions where then people just go, duh, hey, well, that's easy. You should know that. That's like, yeah, maybe you should, but especially now, if you don't, you don't. And then you just kind of throw a uh, uh, a good article at them so they, that they can kind of catch up of, with the things that, that they don't know. Um, nevertheless, having talked, because I, I still go to the gym uh, regularly, um, and they, they, they say that there is way less people, for sure, and they are washing the gym equipment constantly, like, well, not washing, but, but sort of sterilizing it with, with clinical vibes, or I, I don't know, like, honestly, um, resistance is futile, uh, because if you pay attention, once this is over, pay attention how much stuff you touch. It is incredible. Um, from pens to, to, to everything. And well, the face touching is actually the, the most difficult one. We touch our faces a lot. And also, yeah. Uh, what about your phone? Have you disinfected it lately? Because that's another thing. Like your phone is, is, is just yeah, dirty. My glasses are dirty. Germs are everywhere. Um, anyway, that, that's sort of uh, a tangent. But Coming back to, to the situation here, for a long time, it really felt that they, they, the central government mostly, was ignoring the fact that there is a global thing going on and it is bad. It is real bad. Why? That's difficult to say. Maybe it is true that they only have around a thousand infections at the moment in the country. It feels very, very low. I think it's that there's something fishy going on, but I'm not going to judge on that. Um, but mostly, I think now, after after they they kind of realized that uh, there's no way back, they they basically they uh, they said, OK, yeah, uh, we, we have to do something. Um, yesterday, the governor of Tokyo declared that for this weekend, um, so uh, we're the 26th of March now, so the weekend uh, 28, 29, people should stay at home, which is extremely easy this time around because the weather's going to be bad. Apparently there's going to be uh, rain and snow, uh, thus people can, can cope with that. Um, but again, it's, it's just a weekend and it's just an indication. It's like, yep, please stay at home, just, yep, to prevent spreading. And a lot of uh, locals, they reach out to me and say, hey, stay safe. Um, I'm going to stay at home at the weekend. So they also feel that something is going on. Um, will I stay at home? Hmm. Good question. For sure, if the weather is bad. Uh, th then again, it, if we go out, we keep distance. We don't go to large gatherings. We also know we are not infected. Um, we also know the, like all the early warning signs that are apparent. Uh, so we, we, we watch that. We do not take our temperature like every five minutes because that's like a bit over the top. Uh, nevertheless, thermometer is always at hand. Um, but the, the, it, it's just mind boggling how, and I don't want to say ignorance the government was, but just how, how complex it is in, uh, to a certain extent. And 
well if you if you're not familiar with uh with the japanese culture there is there is a great book about that and actually if i'm fast enough and i find it uh, this is it uh it's called the japanese mind and I'll, i can leave a, a a link in the description um the japanese mind is basically going through uh the uh, the key concepts of of japanese culture throughout the ages um like uh, bushido uh, the way of the warrior uh danjo kankei relations between men and women uh senpai kohai seniority rules in japanese relations uh, Shudan Ishiki, group consciousness. Wabi Sabi, simplicity and elegance as ideals of beauty. And, and much, much more, where you really get an, an insight to why, for example, they, they do not want to lose face. And um, I think that is part that, part, uh, part that played uh, a role in, in the current situation. Um, another thing is, if you live here, there there is literally Tokyo 2020 everywhere. Um, it's the first time I live in a in an in a host Olympic city, but there is not one coffee can or one I don't know like anything and everything that can be commercialized uh, that that people will just like put the Tokyo 2020 brand on. So that will be an, a huge economical uh, hit for the companies who have who have kind of produced that uh yet i think it's like yeah no one's gonna care that much about tokyo 2020 or 2021 on their coffee can but of course you know it was an investment and this investment has to be done again uh next next year for these companies um the the other thing is and and that's that's where I'm, I'm i'm still a little bit confused this is a very 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 old uh population over here and because well by now we know that also younger generations can actually get the virus and die from it but the fact that there are so many elderly here and i don't know their underlying conditions or whatever health uh status they're, they're at like if this would be really bad like northern italy bad and now spain bad there would be like yeah the mortgages would also become full that would be a huge problem and even the japanese government cannot hide from that that there will be people talking there will be people going hey there's a, there's a problem half of my my uh, my friend's grandparents have died so that's that's again where it, where it becomes uh, really confusing and then like i don't know um and another thing like with yesterday's announcement of uh, the governors suggesting that people should stay at home, that is what the international press wrote. But in reality, if you talk to uh, native Japanese speakers, it, it wasn't set as such. There is that weird concept of um, sort of reading between the lines when someone talks, meaning that in, in, in Japan, you got to be careful if someone talks to you, especially in Japanese, there might be something between the lines, like they did yesterday. Between the lines, they suggested people to stay at home. And that is, that is basically, that is basically something that's, uh, that's that's again that's so unusual like as a european we do not read between the lines uh or rather we do not talk uh, between the lines on that level especially when it's you know this is kind of critical it's like it's on we can't now all of a sudden go well you know maybe stay at home if this is really bad and i have a feeling it might become worse it's time to really stay at home and then just like, uh, yeah, uh, make sure that it doesn't spread because that's the only thing. Uh, it's just like containing the spread and that, that's, that's been covered by, by, by the international press uh, quite, quite extensively. So I, I, really, I really wonder what the future brings, what's, what's, what's 
kind of going to happen um, if the central government here is uh, going to to wake up if um, uh, if Abe is going to uh, to 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 give any any direction or show any leadership, but mostly, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish with 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 that is that we we live in a in a time where m everyone probably for the very first time of their life feel a historical change. This is this is historic. It's the first time in my life, certainly, that I see, feel uh, that something is is happening. And saying that, you know, like the only impact I had so far is my mother's flight got cancelled to visit me. My flight got proactively cancelled, so I didn't go back to uh, to Luxembourg to to visit my family. Um, that's the only impact I had. But again, like I live now in a country where. Everyone says or lives as if it's fine, but back home, um, yeah, all my work colleagues are teleworking. Uh, we should be happy, especially as IT people, that we can telework. A lot of people cannot uh, do do that kind of stuff. But it's the the, the wake up call we now kind of get, and it's not really motivated to talk about it. But it's like, yeah, we have a systemic problem, and now we kind of realize that. It's like we wake up and it's like, oh, yeah, hmm, hospital staff. Yeah, well, we really need them. Oh, there's not enough of them. I wonder why. Well, if everyone wants to become a programmer, obviously no one's going to go and work in a hospital or whatever. Um, but, you know, that's maybe a prejudice. I, I think it's this is a good moment in time to reevaluate our, our value systems. It's uh, pure and simple. What do we value most? And every every one or every community, and as such in a global community, again everyone needs to find a, an answer to that. Also for Luxembourg, it's uh, all of a sudden very very obvious that, and it was for everyone who didn't live on the rock very obvious that we rely on uh, on the commuter community massively what i didn't know for example is that we rely also to such an extent on the um community co commuter community for our health system i didn't really know that now i know uh, it's again if you think about it, it's kind of obvious but uh yeah and the fact that that the government now has opened a portal where they kind of strong arm the um, health professionals to subscribe uh, that's also a very very good indicator that that something needs to change massively because you cannot always throw money at it and that's kind of yeah that's kind of beautiful to see it's like oh let's solve it with money and then like oh shit uh we cannot solve it with money because people are sick our doctors get sick oh hmm okay Oof. Tell me something more. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, our schools are ill-equipped for the digital tasks. Mm, all of a sudden we notice that, well, if we have a family of three children that go to three different schools that might not have three laptops. Of course, in Luxembourg that might not be a problem, but other countries it is a problem. So we now collectively kind of... Uh, uh, discover all these uh, social issues um, we were maybe ignorant about. Um, so honestly, I hope that on all the the, the the expat and all the other forums, comments, news, there would be more of discussion how to kind of go on, because the social or the like sort of the um, the physical isolation is one thing. But that's going to end. And then just just picking up where we where we left off from, that's like maybe not clever. Um, so it would be more interesting to have a talk about that. What's what's next? Like is eating random animals that might have random problems a good idea? Is eating animals a good idea? I don't know. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. I'm fairly flexible on that one. But again, it's a discussion to be had. So 
coming back to to forming consent and having creative creative discussions w- without hating on each other. Uh, like unfortunately, our uh, American friends uh, sometimes tend to do that. That would be really really great. Um, and also accept unpopular opinions. Uh, like I don't know. Like honestly, I watched a conspiracy theorist the other day ah he made a couple of good points he's lunatic of course but not of course by the fact that he's a conspiracy theorist but just the dude's doing it for 30 years he's looking for 30 years at the weirdest fucking shit that takes a toll and then you have like 5% 5% of, okay, yeah, I see where you're going with this. And a large majority of stuff, you're like, oh, that's bloody confusing. Um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate him. But in the context I watched him, it was with some pseudo-motivational speaker. Um, and I will not link to that because it's, it's just like, it's confusing and you really need to read more than uh, than between the lines um it's it's just like the there there was no opposition you know there was no discussion um which again becomes more and more difficult nowadays um so anyway i've I've been rambling for for way too long already um if there's anything you want to hear or ask or whatever i'm on instagram i'm on uh twitter uh, twitch and all all the rest of it um and on twitter uh you can just like ping me there or leave a comment in uh down the 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 the, the video and i will maybe come back to you if it's uh interesting enough for me as well cuz i'm interested in interesting things and interesting people anyway bye <laughs>